You say you were herded away in boxcars. Where's the photo? Bring it around, Brother Steve. You were herded in boxcars. We were brought in the holes of slave ships. We didn't come on the Nina, the Pinta, nor the Santa Maria, not that way. And we didn't come on the Mayflower. We didn't land at Plymouth Rock. We got hit in the head with the damn rock. We came in the holes of ships to be made burden barrels for white America, stacked and packed like sardines in a can and like cockroaches in a Coke bottle, just in the middle passage just coming over between Africa and America. Between Africa and America. Peace, it's your brother YK The Truth, and I'm back with another video to show you how these so-called aboriginals are nothing but culture vultures. I'm going to show you, family. Now, check it out. This is an article from Dane Calloway's I'm Just Here to Make You Think. And it says right here, new DNA proves African Americans are in fact indigenous aborigines of America. Now this is his article. So I just want you to think real quick. Just think about that. Aboriginals are so quick to dismiss DNA only when they find something that fits their aboriginal theory. So at this moment, I don't wanna hear nothing about you saying, oh, you know, DNA test is fake and all that. I don't wanna hear that no more. Because you see, your aboriginal leader, Dan Calloway, it agrees with DNA, okay? So we can get that, there's no more excuses to why you can't have a DNA test done. So it says right here, new DNA proves African Americans are in fact indigenous aborigines of America. And then he start off by quoting Malcolm X. He said Malcolm X once stated aborigine, which means what? Black folks. Then he later went on to say, you and I are aborigine. This is where he took Malcolm X out of context and never played the full video of Malcolm X saying that we are from Africa. The same video, in this same video, Malcolm X said we are from Africa, but he didn't play that. Then he went on to say that Dr. Martin Luther King said that, you know, we are exiling our own homeland. And I played a clip in my other video, you can check it out, it's on my channel, showing you that Martin Luther King specifically said that we came from Africa. So I'm just showing you how desperate these culture vultures could get. Like they are desperate. In one minute they don't agree with DNA, and then when an article comes out, then when an article comes out to support their so-called theory, then they agree with it. You, do you see it, family? Now here it goes. Look what it says. It says, now after painstakingly comparing DNA samples from people in dozens of modern day Native American or Native Indigenous Aborigines. Now you see that? And Eurasian, an international team of scientists think it can be, it can put the matter to rest virtually without exception, the new evidence supports the single ancestral population theory. So, Dan Calloway agrees with DNA. So how about you so-called aborigines, how about you guys start a GoFundMe to get Dan his DNA test so he could come back as African, okay? And probably about 2% native, 1% native. See, most of you guys walking around here with feathers on your head and shit, you're culture vultures, man. You're a culture vulture. Do you feel me? You're a culture vulture. You have culture in Africa. You have wonderful culture in Africa. 
You don't have to be walking around here with feathers on your head looking like an idiot because the world is laughing at you. This is a this is this is a fact. You have your own history. Okay. How can you trust people like Dane Calloway when he's taking Malcolm X and misrepresenting what Malcolm X is saying? Or misrepresenting what Dr. Martin Luther King is saying. And not only that, family, we could just look and see that he plagiarizes all his information. All that, all that shit is, is plagiarized and it comes from a different site. He doesn't cite his information and this is supposed to be a historian. Where are the sites? Where are you getting this information from? You're stealing. This is thievery. And anybody who supports this guy is a fraud. So, so let's see how much of a fraud Dan Calloway really is. Let's just see. You do this with me. For all those who say I'm hating and all of that, just do this with me. Let's do this together. You ready? Now, it says, not, this is from Dan Calloway's I'm Just Here to Make You Think website, right? Now it says, 98% of African Americans are in fact native Indians and are old millions. And what does it say? August 28, 2016, by who? By Dane Calloway. You see what it says, right? It says, by Dane Calloway. So he just took credit for this article, for writing this article, right? He took credit and it says 2016. Okay, family? So let's do this shit together. Now, we're going to take the first paragraph, right? We're going to copy and paste it. We're going to copy it. Let's do this together. Let's do this together. Then we're going to open another one, right? Then we're going to Google, right? Let's do this together, right? Then we're going to paste it. Now, let's see what, we, let's see what pops up. Okay, so this is where he got this, so, this this source from, right? Remember, he said it's his. He said it's his. Now, let's look at the date on this. July 23rd, 2015. So, this was written before Dane Calloway put up his little article on his website. So, he's not the author. Now, let's see what it says. It says the tens of millions of of American so-called Indians who disappeared after 1492 did not all die in the Holocaust inflicted by America. Now let's go back to Dane's website. The tens of millions of American black Americans who disappeared after 1492 did not all die in the Holocaust. So this shows you family that he is a thief. He's so if you let me get this right, right? You're here to make people think, but you can't even think for your damn self where you have to go and take someone else's information from their website, but you're here to make people think? Where do you do that at? How the hell can you make anyone think when you can't think for your own damn self? You cannot think for your own damn self. Now let's keep going down. Let's keep, let's, now you with me. We, we're we doing this together, okay? We're doing this together. I'm not doing this by myself. Let's do this together. Let's copy it, right? Let's go back to Google, right? Let's paste it, right? And see what pops up. Let's see, we're doing this together, right? This is where he's stealing his information. He's stealing it. He's not, this is not his work. This does not belong to him. Do you see it? He's plagiarizing from a plagiarizer. This is what Brother Jabari told us. You see it, okay? And then he goes on to say, right, that 
other people who seen the Indians here in America, the Europeans who came here and seen the, the natives in America, called them a Negro. This is what he said, and he used Jack D. Forbes. Now look, check this out. This is an article from Jack D. Forbes. It says the use of the terms Negro and black to include persons of native ancestry in North America. Okay? Now let's get it. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill all of those all of those rumors that the natives were called were considered Negroes because of the color of their skin. Okay? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get it. So let's go down and use Jack D. Forbes, the same person that, what's the name used? Okay, now here it goes. In so far as the term Negro became synonymous with slave or a servile status, it lost any specific color reference. Let me repeat that. It lost any specific color reference and became a general term of abuse. Darker people preferring to be called Pretro as a result. Okay? All right? So, you could get that shit out of here. They even did a, a royal decree, 1755, among the regrettable practices which have resulted in the disparagement of the Indians. One prime abuse is the unjustifiable and scandalous practice of calling them Negroes. Perhaps by doing so, the intent was no other than to induce them into the belief that their origins have be de been destined to the slaves of whites as is generally conceded to the case of blacks from the coast of Africa. The director will not permit, henceforth, that any anybody may refer to an Indian as a Negro. The director will not permit, permit henceforth that anybody may refer to an Indian as a Negro. So, get that shit out of here. Get it out of here. The Negro, Negro was synonymous with slave. It did not refer only to the color of your skin. So we don't want to hear that no more. We putting these coaches, they gonna get this work. Cause it's easy to, you know, it's easy to, you know, make videos, put a little music behind it. But when it's time to get to the information, when it's time to pull up them sources, when it's time to examine the work, they gonna run. They are going to run. Because it don't add up. You're not native. You might have native um, ancestry, but you're not indigenous to America. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. You're a culture vulture, man. You're equivalent to Jews. Well, I won't even say that because that's Jewish is a faith, so I'm not even gonna say that. You feel me? But you're a culture vulture. You're the Vlad of the native community. You're the Vlad TV of the native community. You're a culture vulture. Now, this is what I want you natives to do. Take those feathers out your goddamn head, get your lighter that you always smoking your trees with, and burn that shit. Cause you ain't no damn native, man. You're not no native, you're not indigenous. You come from Africa. I know you don't like it, I know you hate it, but that's what it is. So take the DNA test, that your brother Dane Calloway agrees with, because he agrees with it, right? Take the DNA test so your results can come back and you can just move on with your life. So you won't have to be coming back and forth with this, because you're not indigenous. So, it's your brother YK The Truth, and I'm out. Peace.